lovelies. So, uh, that's how I feel today. How do you feel today? So, I have been on the weirdest sleep schedule probably I've ever been on other than when I was having severe insomnia. Uh, I woke up at 10.30 p.m. Because I was so freaking stressed out because I finally went to my doctor. We came up with a plan. We both really, like, put our all into it. And, um, I told her how severe my chronic, I mean, like, I told her how severe my migraines were, and that was an honest moment for me. That's hard for me to be like, this is how bad they are. Um, but I told her, and so she put me on Relpax, which is not a like narcotic or anything like that. So I was super duper excited because I told her the thing that works the best for me is a cold washcloth. So that has to do with the vessels constricting and all that kind of stuff and that's what the rel packs deals with specifically for migraines so I get so excited go to the pharmacy and uh, your insurance won't pay for it what 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 like how can you insure and say mm, your your doctor prescribed this to you it's a necessity it's one of your pre, like, you told us that you have migraines, yet we're not going to pay for it. Oh, and by the way, it's $450 for nine pills. What? What? This is the government, mind you. They also give me disability, so they know that I cannot afford that. Like, it's simple math. And they already won't pay for one of my other medications, but my other medication is like $21. I will, t I will pay for that. Okay, I, I can handle that. Worst comes to worst, I ask my parents to pay for it. They will pay for that. But $450 for something that is debilitating to me? Like, I can literally do nothing when I have a migraine. It is so frustrating. It's all I can think about. And so... I'm hoping that they can get it resolved. If not, we will have to go through the process of finding another insurance company, which is so frustrating because then we have to go through all of this rigmarole because, because my body is so sensitive to medications, I um, have a hard time finding uh, generics that my body doesn't get upset with. I don't know if it's maybe because I like add gluten to it or it's just not as nice I don't know but some of the stuff I take is either not as effective or makes me sick so I have to go through the process of having my doctor call them and say no she needs to have the non-generic of this and blah blah blah, blah. And, but the weird thing is is that they will pay for some of my non-generics but this is a generic I don't know what the generic of Relpax is, or if Relpax is the generic, but that's, I'll, I'm fine with the generic of that, if there is one, maybe there isn't one. But then also, my other medication is my Phenergan, and I get the generic of that, and they won't pay for that. And it's like, why would you not pay for a generic of a medication? Because they deemed it to be too similar to one of my other medications, which it's not. My other medication, I take it for a completely different reason. It has to do with my stomach, yes, but it doesn't, I don't take it for the same reason. And I don't take it at the same dosage. Like, nothing is similar about it, other than it's the same region of my body. It's just so unbelievably frustrating. And I know that there's some of you that are screaming at me, like, you have no idea how lucky you are because I have insurance, um have disability I understand that but it's not like I don't deserve it like I am disabled uh, so I would have no income I completely am supported by my parents 
and trust me, I've tried working through this and it's just not fair to my employees and my employers. Like, it's not right. Um, and I can't do it. I ended up in the hospital last time I tried. Uh, but I get just so frustrated and I'm fixated on it. Like, I know that that's not right. I shouldn't be. But it's like all I think about. It's the first thing I thought about when I woke up today. I couldn't sleep till sometime in this, this afternoon. And then I woke up at like 10.30 at night because that's all I could think about and I kept calling Walgreens and they their their phones were down or something but nobody answered the phone to say like hey our phones are down and it's not like I called like once or twice I called from like 7 till 1 o'clock in the afternoon and nobody said anything to me like I can't get a hold of my pharmacy they're sending me text messages saying like prescriptions are ready but I can't get a hold of them awesome so it was just super frustrating and I was super worked up about it and I know I can't be because what am I going to do about it? The chips are going to fall where they fall. I don't know what that saying is, but uh, it's so frustrating and it's just a lot. I mean, this is like the whole process up until this point it's just like at this point I'm like I feel like you guys should just give me things for free because of what you've put me through to get up to this point like years and years of my life paperwork I mean I've done more paperwork for this type of stuff than I did in my entire college career plus my entire cosmetology career plus my entire working career. Like, it's insanity. I mean, why, I mean, it's like, why don't I just do that like American Ninja finalist show? Like, that would be easier, probably. Oh. It's just, and I will jump through the loops. Loops? Hoops. Like, I am a monkey to these people. Like, I will do anything. I will dance, I will sing, I will jump through the hoops. I've shown that. Just make me jump through a bazillion hoops and I'll do it. Like, I am stubborn and I don't want to live off my parents. Like, just don't say, no, this is final. Like, this is my life. Like, I need a, a quality of life that I can live. And having migraines once or twice a week is not a good quality of life. And the other thing is, I can't afford to go to the hospital. So I told, I talked to my doctor about that and I was like, I really need something to help me. Like we need to work on this because I can't afford to go to the hospital. Like that's not an option. So to just be like, no, I'm sorry, you can't have that medication. You're going to just have to live in excruciating pain is kind of like, gosh, like what society do we live on? And I know there are far worse things in our society to be worrying about this is just in my little world um, that just kind of gives me a glimpse of like really like what what and it just makes me really fearful for like what else is going on in this country really uh, so I thought I would share that with you today to just brighten up your day uh, maybe bring back bad memories. That's what I'm here for, the painful hilarity. No, oh, sorry that turned so dark, but that's just really what's on my mind. And when I wake up at 1030 at night, I have no one to talk to. And it's really depressing. And, I mean, there's not really anything I can do about it because I'm going to take the sleep whenever I can because I'm not going to not sleep because I've done that before and that is not good for my body. So, but in my household, people go to sleep at 8 o'clock p.m. Like, it's the beep, lights out. So, it's just kind of lonely and depressing being awake at the time that everybody else is sleeping. So, hopefully, after my day out and being flared and a lot of pain 
I'll hopefully start to try to get my schedule in a better sleep mode. Um, other than that, really that's what's on my mind. I don't really have anything else to say other than that. So, hope you guys have a pain-free, stress-free day. Hope I didn't just stress you out. And um, I love you guys. And the giveaway is still going on. Check out the information in the description box. You can still enter. It's really easy. I made it as simple as possible to enter. So, um, yeah. So do it if you want the free prizes. And you can watch my giveaway video if you want to see what the prizes are. I should probably link that down below too. We'll work on that. Alright, so sending out X double O's, and as always, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!